Let's embark on a fascinating journey into the world of human differences, through the lens of the pyramid of personality. Picture each person as a unique treasure map, leading us to understand the myriad factors that shape them. Delving deep into this field, we uncover the profound influence of family culture, social groups, education, and life experiences on molding our personalities. The world of psychology has painstakingly mapped these layers, providing us with valuable insights into the human psyche. Did you know our brains alter according to the stimuli in our surroundings? Yes, it's true, our personalities are not etched in stone. They mature and evolve with us as we traverse through the path of life. Each individual's pyramid is a unique expedition, laden with their own set of strengths and weaknesses. Understanding and accepting these differences isn't just cool, it's crucial. This crucial step enables us to communicate more effectively and build stronger bonds with those we interact with. By acknowledging the intricacies of human variance and the pyramid of personality, we're not just doing a good thing, we're making a vital contribution to a more inclusive and harmonious society. Now tell me, who wouldn't want that? Let's begin at the base of the pyramid of personality. This foundation, this starting emanates from our genetic composition and biological factors. They epitomize the building blocks that collectively assemble to form our individuality. From our inherited genes to our brain's structure and chemistry, these elements are the key contributors that shape our core traits be it our leaning towards extroversion or introversion, preference for routine or spontaneity, our reactivity to stimuli and beyond. Just imagine it as a unique blueprint that sets the stage for our inherent traits. As we traverse through life, these basic traits influenced by our genetics and biology continue to evolve adapt. They mold us, shape us, guide us, ultimately crafting us into the unique individuals we become. Next, we ascend to the middle layer of the personality pyramid where personal experiences and environment come into play. This layer, though it may appear impermeable, is in fact quite flexible, continuously shaping and adapting in response to the experiences and environments we come across. Picture this middle layer as a blank canvas, and our life experiences as the strokes of an artist's brush, each one making an unerasable mark that subtly or dramatically changes the overall image. The brush strokes represent our triumphs and failures, moments of joy and sorrow, interactions with others, and the different cultures we've dived into. Every stroke adds to our attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors, providing us with a distinct outlook and way of life. Furthermore, our environment serves as the palette from which our experiences pick their hues. Our upbringing, circle of friends, education, places of residence, and even our birth era, all offer varied colors that form the portrait of our personality. To sum up, our personal experiences and surrounding environment shape our attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors, constructing the intricate and ever-transforming middle layer of the personality pyramid. This layer, together with our genetic and biological foundation, generates a unique personality that differentiates us from all others. At the zenith of the pyramid of personality, we discover the prime layer, a realm inhabited by our self-identity and personal growth. This segment, despite its seemingly modest size, carries substantial importance. It symbolizes the fusion of our genetic composition, personal encounters, environmental stimuli, and most importantly, our deliberate choices and strides towards self-enhancement. Our self-identity represents the image we possess of ourselves, a result of introspection and self-recognition. It constitutes the tale we narrate to ourselves about our existence, our principles, and our place within the vast canvas of life. This tale, this self-conception, majorly steers our aspirations, orchestrating our decisions and actions, and carving our perspective path. Personal growth, conversely, denotes a ceaseless journey of self-enhancement and knowledge acquisition. It involves the quest to amplify our abilities, broaden our understanding, foster positive mindsets, and nurture emotional wisdom. It's about the relentless pursuit of our best selves, not for the world's judgment, but for our own contentment. And to conclude, our self-identity and personal growth sit at the summit of our personality pyramid. They mold our self-view and ambitions, inspiring us to learn, flourish, and transform. This voyage of self-exploration and self-enhancement, synergized with our unique genetic structure and life incidents, leads to a personality that's uniquely ours, distinguishing us in this vibrant human mosaic. Silver. Occasionally we might find ourselves wishing we could alter people to better suit our expectations. But striving to transform someone's traits is similar to attempting a complete modification of their entire history. 
It's simply an unachievable feat. Each person's history, their encounters, and the unique character that emerges from these elements cannot be manipulated to fit a specific blueprint. Every individual's voyage through existence, their unique circumstances and their personal growth and self-identity are delicately interwoven into their character fabric. Trying to shift that is not only unproductive, but also unjust to the individual. The earlier we comprehend and accept these natural variances, the more improved our interpersonal relationships become. By appreciating these distinctions, we not only enhance our own existence, but also help create a more empathetic and inclusive community. It's these differences that offer us uniqueness, and it's this uniqueness that paints a spectrum of experiences in human life. In summary, while we should aim for self-evolution and development, we need to realize that our past is the foundation of our identity. It's not something that can be altered or substituted, instead it must be recognized, comprehended and cherished as an essential part of our existence.